Yeah, I mean, I think within the past, you know, since preseason, I feel like I've, I've grown uh, defensively, um, being more comfortable in that, in the position I am. Um, I mean, I, I think, you know, every game that goes by, I just continue to learn. Um, so just continually getting those games in and just getting that experience just has helped me, you know, um, you know improve my defensive um, side. Um, but yeah, I mean, I, you know, we we looked over the games. I have, uh, you know, reviewed all my all my you know duels and stuff. So um, you know, I you know, make sure that I'm you know learning off the field, and uh, it's helped me on the field too. We've been told from Brooks and Coach that Brooks spends a lot of time with the assistant coaches going over the film, but what can this position? Mm-hmm. Is that something that you do as well? Yeah, um, yeah I, I'm super, you know, you know, thankful to have you know coaches that are always um, you know wanting the best for us so you know I, I go to them and you know we would you know look at stuff um, whether it's my clips or someone else you know kind of just you know looking at things and you know it only helps me. Now that you're a few games in what is what is the relationship like with the spirit back there? Yeah um, I mean it's only getting better um, and I think you know you guys can see that you know, especially as games go by you know we continue to you know stay you know connected um, and you know, I, I, he's, he's someone that you know I've, always, I've said before that he's really easy to play with. You know, he's always talking with me. He has lots of experience. You know, big profile. So um, you know, I've I've enjoyed it so far. Um, you know. any, any particular challenges that you have with that? You play up on the baseball field once yeah. a year. So. Um, like for this weekend. For this weekend, yeah. Yeah. Um, I mean. We know that New York's a good thing, you know. It's, you know, you, you said it. You know, the field's going to be um, something that we got to deal with. But you know, we're going to go there and we're going to play our style. You know, we're going to, you know, play our identity, and you know, we're going to um, do what we do best and just you know, go for the three points. Is it a relief that at least it's not a Yankee Stadium? It's going to be the City Field, where the field won't be maybe as small. Um, I don't know. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know if it makes a huge difference, uh, but okay. we'll see. Yeah. 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 Caleb, this weekend, something that jumped out to me defensively in your game and Brooks, too, was the patience you guys had on the defensive side. Yeah. Could you talk about that balance between being patient, keeping your shape, but then also picking your spots to be aggressive and close out? Yeah. Um, I think for us, it's, it's just reading the game. I think there's moments where we have to, you know, we can't press all the time and we kind of just have to, you know, sit back and wait for, you know, guys to recover. Um, and then there's other times where, you know, we read the game and know that, you know, if I, if I can go and, you know, affect the play and, you know, potentially get the ball, steal the ball back, then, you know, I'll do that. Um, but that's something that I've, you know, for me, I've actually, you know, worked on a bit more this, this year. Um, and, uh, cause you know, there's times when, you know, I'll get caught out of position and look like the winger doing a check and go. And so um, just keeping an eye on that and you know, working on that. So. What was the experience like with the U23 team, with the U.S. national team? And what can you take from that experience and translate it over to here with Atlanta? Yeah, um, I mean, it was an awesome experience. Um, I mean, playing against Guinea and France, um, you know, we'll play France in our opening game of the Olympics. So, um, you know, it was an awesome experience. Um, you know, good competition. Um, you know, that, that group of guys um, that I was there with um, are, you know, amazing guys. And, you know, they, they have lots of quality. Um, and so when I'm in around, you know, that type of quality, um, it, I feel like it only makes me better. So I'm able to come back here with, you know, lots of confidence um, and, you know, go into games with lots of confidence as well. And how is preparation for the Olympics only a few months away? How's the team looking and gelling together as you get prepared for Paris? Yeah, um, you know, each camp. You know, each game we have, we, we only get better and better. Um, like I said, the, the quality that's within the team is, is amazing. Um, and, you know, these, these games, these, the games that we have, you know, against a side like France, you know, one of the best teams in, you know, the world um, is only, you know, going to help us, you know, going forward. This is your chance this weekend. I know it's a small sample size, only two matches, but to get your first point on the road. Uh, after winning your three home matches, what does it take, do you think, to take what has been successful here at home and then go on the road and, and, and get points? Yeah. Um, I mean, I think we're full of confidence right now. 
Um, you know, Jamal scoring two goals on his birthday. I'm sure he's full of confidence, you know. Um, so, you know, I think we're going to go there and, you know, same, have the same mindset as, you know, every other game we have. Um, like I said before, we play our game. Um, and uh, whether it's a, you know, whether we play bad or good, we're, we're going for three points. Time in France. I mean, that was that was a heck of a comeback. Is that stunning? What were your emotions as you're watching that unfold? Yeah. Um, it was, uh, like I said, it was an awesome experience. I mean, you know, the, the stadium, the, the fans. Um, and so I, I think, you know, when I came off the pitch, I was uh, I was ready to go. I mean, it was, it was, it was three other guys that, you know, came on and um, we were, you know, had lots of energy. Um, Told to go in and make an impact, and I think that's what we did. Um, and we got the first goal, and then you know, hunted down for the second goal. I think Sunday was your 50th start or 50th appearance, one of the two, for a lot of I can't remember South. Yeah. But is it is the game slowing down for you? Is it is it is it not a mile a minute? Maybe like it was when you first got on the field a couple of years ago. Yeah, I think so. Um, but. Um, at the same time, it's moving pretty fast. I mean, to think that you know I'm already at you know that 50 you know mark is it's crazy to think about. But um, you know, I just go for the 100 now. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Those experiences with the national team, how do they impact your day to day here? Um, I think just, I mean. The group that I'm there with is, you know, guys that I get along with so well, um, and that I go along around the league, and so I think, like I said, you know, and then on the pitch, you know, we're we're connecting so well, and I'm learning so much from even the coaches and stuff. So I think when I come back here and stuff, I kind of just, um, I'm just it's like that confident boost, um, and, it, and it and it just helps me when I'm back here and playing games. I don't know.